Are you troubled by strange noises in the night? You experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic. Have you or your family actually seen a spook, specter, or ghost? If the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Just pick up the phone and call the professionals. Call the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. We're, We're ready, ready to, to believe, believe you. you. Franchises available soon. Call for details. No! Russell! Hey, man! You near the East Wing? Yep. But by the new Ghostbusters exhibit? Yeah, why? There's something headed your way. Wait. I hear something. I'm gonna take a look. Wanna hear something really creepy? I was reading about Shandor, you know, the guy who donated most of the Gozer stuff. He was into the occult. You know, supernatural. Weird dude. <laughs> uh, well, why don't we talk about it some other time? Any other time. Hey, you can't be in here. Stop! Something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! If it's something weird and it doesn't look good, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters! Is your haunting an apparition, poltergeist, phantasm wraith, banshee demon specter, tortured solar? What? No, we do not summon dead family members and catch them so you can ask the combination to the safe. Yeah, well, same to you, pal. Hey, it's the new cadet! Welcome aboard! This might be a little dangerous. Great. Danger is our life. We'll start at 50% capacity. That should keep any burning or tissue damage to a minimum. Hey, if you're gonna burn any tissue, do it to the new kid. You can't use Ray. Our mortgage is in his name. I guess he's right. What's your name again, kid? No names, Ray. I don't want to get too attached to this kid. You know, just in case... <laughs> you remember what happened to the last guy. He's tuned and ready to go. You may feel a little tingle. Good. We've perfected an extensive and rigorous training regimen that will teach you all your equipment's basic functions. It takes some time to achieve master throw skill, but it's definitely worth the effort. Was that us? I don't think so. Ray? Had to be some sort of psi energy pulse. Substantial, a significant collected and centralized necromatic convulsion level 7 or more. Agreed. We need EMF measurement checks now. I know the answer, but I'm going to ask anyway. Is a level 7 uh, whatever bad or very bad? On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say... Let me guess. It's a 7. Let's just say we're about to get real busy. And that is not the fun kind of getting busy. Is it, Rick? Look out! Slimer's escaped again! No, wait, come back. There it is. It seems oddly drawn to the containment grid. He's been fascinated with it ever since you added the viewer to the unit. Okay, easy now, cadet. I'll talk you through this. Use the proton stream to get his attention. Oh, no, not the containment unit. That's some highly sensitive equipment you're disintegrating there, kid. Yeah. Oops, you let one out? That's my fault. I was fine-tuning the interspatial gasket this afternoon. I'll fix it. You two get those ghosts back. One escapee accounted for. Oh, and always remember to retrieve your track. Did you get them? Ah, uh, we're batting 500. Slimer slipped out. Our cadet bagged his first one, though. A very nasty customer. Oh, and you've got to be very careful about crossing the streams. In a word, don't do it. Seriously. 
Stings like the dickens, too. Hey, how come this mump gets all the new stuff? He's our new experimental equipment technician. He gets a cool title, too? It means he gets to carry around a bunch of untested, extremely dangerous hardware that, if not handled correctly, could blow him somewhere into New Jersey. Oh, this knucklehead lugs around our very dangerous prototype hardware that could potentially blow us into New Jersey. Thanks. Keep the title, kid. It'll work hard for you. Scooter. We need to go. Let's roll. Where to, Ray? The Sedgwick Hotel. That's the first place that little spud will go. Right. Back to its initial manifestation point. They've got a real good buffet. It is a great one. When Winston returns from the opera, extend an invitation to join us at our table at the Sedgwick. Hey you! You're up, buddy. Training will be on the job tonight. Try not to destroy too many Manhattan landmarks. That's our job. Disgusting green blob is up on the 12th floor again, wreaking havoc. I demand a refund right now. Sir, if you check the fine print on our invoice... Invoices. <laughs> right, invoices. You'll see that your warranty on rehaunting expired some time ago. You should have taken the extended service agreement. Well, hello. You're perfectly safe now, miss. The Ghostbusters are here. Back off, loser. Never gonna happen. <laughs> that approach rarely works with me. I'll show you why later. All right, Ace. Get ready. Dr. Stance, if you do the honors. Proud to, Dr. Venkman. Part of our settlement with the city. Proton packs must remain off in heavily populated public areas. And in close quarters. It minimizes the city liabilities and satisfies the restraining order the maid here had put on us. Where we live in today, you shoot a proton stream of highly charged particles at someone, they get all so happy. It's him! All right, showtime. We wear him out. Then we capture him. That's what your proton stream is for. You've got him on the run! Come on, let's go! Peter! Nah, I've seen this one already. Know how it ends. You two have fun, though. I'll cover the elevators and escort any ladies safely to their rooms. Yeah, okay. And this signal looks just like your elusive little targeted entity. He's been slimed! Again! Hustle over here and help him up, will you? How did this even happen? I was covering the elevators! That mutant Stromboli snuck up on me. God, funk the fire again! When one of us goes down, we always help each other out. It's all about teamwork. Oh no, my friend. That was back in the pre-sliming era. Right now, it's all about payback. You guys need to get down here immediately. Our live-in science experiment is tearing apart the lobby, and he's not alone. More ghosts? But we gave this hotel a clean bill of health five years ago. New people die every day. Call the elevator, Junior. All right, Slimer. You've had your fun. The elevator's off limits. Egon, come in. I think we're stuck in the elevator. We need some help. Think we're stuck. Well, let's see. Think we're stuck? Think we're stuck? Think we're stuck? Ray, you guys uh, good with officially stuck in the elevators? Show of hands. Here it comes. Kill it, Ray! Need a hand? You always fail me, Ray, don't you? There, the Alhambra Ballroom. No way he could pass that up. Absolutely not! You can't go in. The Rodriguez Bar Mitzvah is set to start in half an hour. I'll bet the beef brisket is today's special. And you've done quite enough already. I'm sure the thing will just go away. I... 
I'm willing to risk it. You're not going in there. That's all we needed to hear. All right, we're out. Coffee time, everyone. Service has been declined beyond this point. Would it kill him to mix in a green salad once in a while? I'm going to take backup. Blast him until he's dazed, and then throw your capture stream on him. Perfect. See? That's a big wow. I don't teach that pitiful goop sack to slime Pete Vengman. And by extension, you. Perhaps a place sitting disturbed, still pretty much ready, full go for the Rodriguez blowout. The Alhambra Ballroom, the Bar Mitzvah, what have you done? The guests are arriving in 15 minutes! What seems to be your problem? Thanks to me and my new exclusively assigned recruit here, the festivities can now proceed in an entirely ghost-free environment. So, you're welcome, huh? And, uh, to the Rodriguez, Olachayim, from the Ghostbusters. Who is going to pay for all of this? No need to worry, sir. As you know, the mayor rode to office on a strictly pro-Ghostbusters platform. And we now invoice the city directly for all captures and eliminations. And unhaunted New York is a tourist-friendly New York. No, but damage. The mayor and the city have taken out an extensive insurance policy as well, so you're covered. Honestly, I'm sensing some hostility here. Perhaps we should just leave the ghosts here, if that's what you would prefer, sir. No! No. But please, be discreet. Discretion is our professional watchword. Hands up! Whoa! Where did he come from? I suppose we should go after him, unless you want to discuss it first. Cadet, go with Dr. Spangler. Check out the angry fisherman. This way. Looks like he's drifting upstairs. Get across there! Move! Take the lead! Take this trap! Hey, is there a bathtub overflowing up there? More specifically, a 7,000 cubic meter bathtub filled with volcanically charged seawater. And the sea cucumbers? Good work. Are you alright? Nice going! You might really be the right person for this job. Yes, you have destroyed a significant section of a five-star New York hotel in just under three hours. Your mother and I are so proud. Aren't we, Egon? He's got something. Let's track it down. But when knives and forks become a big angry giant, that's really me not liking it. A lot. Happens every day, right? Anybody here from Zetamore? Uh, guys, I'm right outside. And so is something else. Gosh, we've missed you, partner. Glad you could make it. But first, how was Aida? Well, we had to make do with uh, this new specimen here. I've been trying to get here for over four hours, Peter. Traffic is a little blocked right now. Wait. I know that thud. Winston, what do you see out there? It's big. It's clean and soft and white. And you all aren't gonna like it. No, this is not possible. Not here, not now. Not again! Wasn't me the 
this time, I swear it. <laughs> Times Square, post-urban renewal. All shiny and clean. I love it. Say, is that him? Oh, it's hard to miss. Egon, how close do we have to get the big trap to reel him in? A lot closer than this. What's he up to now? He's looking for something. Is he looking for something or someone? If you can see behind me, the streets are in absolute chaos. Authorities are doing everything they can to quell the panic and maintain order. It is madness out here. The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man star of the popular children's television show is on a rampage. This is not the Stay Puft we've come to love. Fortunately, the Ghostbusters have arrived to put everything back to normal. It's damaged. I've got to fix it or we won't stand a chance. We need to get from here to there. Make sure the big boy doesn't find whatever he's looking for. Good strategy. It's dangerous, though. That's a lot of open ground to cover. All right, sport. Looks like it's me and you. Let's go across Times Square and get into the building Stay Puft is so interested in. You guys keep him off us if you think you can. He knows you're there, Ray. I don't think he likes it. Yeah, he spotted us. Keep moving. Keep away from those feet. He'll stomp you into jelly. Bozon will loosen him up. All full, going up. Uh, he, uh, just passed gas. Catch the next one. Relax, sir. We handle foul vapors all the time. Let's stay in for lunch, you said. Why leave the building, you said. It'll be quiet, you said. You know you're fired. You're right. I secretly knew our lives would be in danger and thought, hey, I'll make sure I trap Mark with me inside an elevator! Excuse us. for everybody from 54th Street to 5th Avenue. Happy Thanksgiving! There he goes! The big evil sailor all the way to the... Oh! Not quite. Didn't make it. Hey, Ray, say three guys the size of your finger knocked you off the side of a 30-story building and you had to climb all the way back up to tear them apart. How, how mad would you be at those three little dinky types? I'd go with Mighty Pissed. Uh, okay, and throw in a sugar high, too. That giant blue and white toy man thing, or whatever, is still coming. It's climbing the building. I'm impressed with his agility, considering his complete lack of bones. Good news. We've got the Super Slammer back on pulse and Ecto-1 is rolling. We're repositioning now. Can you hold the Stay Puft there for a few minutes? If by few you mean less than one, then sure, we can do that. Hey, did somebody tell you it was break time? No sweat, kid. We've got you. Well, as long as you're down there, would you see if you could knock off Mr. Sweetness? You've got him on the ropes, Lapster! Land the last one so we can go home! You've killed my dessert! Scoreboard reads Ghostbusters 2, Gozer the Gozerian 0. Looking like a real big leaguer out there, champ. Great. Peter, we're in position. The trap is set. We're prepared to capture Stay Puff. Where is he? He's that white puddle you're driving through? Timing's off by just a hair, Egon, but we're glad the trap is working again. I guess I owe you guys my life. She's clean. How do you feel? Pretty good. All extremely weird things considered. So far, just another screwed up day at the office. 
You know, I never forget a face attached to all the rest of that. I think we met earlier at the Sedgwick Hotel. You gave me the sideshow chicken drop. My name's Alyssa, Dr. Alyssa Selwyn, and- I am Dr. Peter Venkman, and that's C. Egon. It's uh, Ray Winston, and uh, you met him. Uh-huh, the Ghostbusters. Have you ever been involved in this type of quantum temporal rift event before? A quantum what? It's called arcing, a large pulse of psychic energy. Actually, yes. I was at the museum. A pulse of blue light surged through the building, and then I was standing outside a room on the 13th floor of an old hotel. The Sedgwick. The Sedgwick doesn't have a 13th floor. It was pulling me like a magnet. I felt as though I was in a deep dream. I came to and ran over here. Here? It's a temporary office while I'm in town. I came to do some research after I woke up. We'd like you to come to our lab so we can run some brief tests and ask you more questions. Here's an easy one. Would you like to go out for Thai, Mexican, Japanese? Wow, Dr. Venkman. That time you almost went 45 seconds without saying something ablasive. Want to try for a whole minute next time? A doctor and a fiery one, too. Charming. So charming. So you know so much about Gozer because... Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian primarily. Gozerian more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiffed on invites to opening night, just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That, gentlemen, was all me. And I can assure you, it was not an oversight. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. Thanks, Janine. Your first class lookout. Walter Peck. I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside attached to your nose. Okay, everybody put them back in their skivvies. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? I think so, but I'm worried about the exhibit. Are you kidding? You can't buy publicity like this. The guest curator of the Gozer exhibit, the expert Peck recommended, is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself. Please tell me that was Gozer. Gozer manifested in a familiar form, one he had used before, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, but this event was weaker than his first encounter with us. Ha! That's all I need! Thanks! Come on, Jock. What's the idea of bringing Prack around here? Oh, have I coughed at the wrong time? <laughs> Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. What? No way, no how. Impossible. Look. This city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters and great for my campaign. Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. We file reports on time. There's no need for extra supervision. <laughs> Funny guy, Bankman. You've always been my favorite. Well, that's where your old friend Peck comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, the perfect Peck for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? P-C-O-C, Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clown's operating license. Lighten up, Peck. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now, just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, so does your job. So you need each other. Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? Hey, Mulligan, come on. It's Mayor Mulligan to you, Venkman. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business, I want to keep my approval rating, and Peck wants his little fiefdom. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. 
So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on that. Ray and I have been talking. And we think we should have a look at the museum. Whatever happened tonight, it started there. Okay. I'll take one for the team. Stay with Elisa. You guys go with Winston and the recruit. I'll be your personal protection. What about Peck? He's supposed to be informed of everything we do. What he doesn't know can't hurt us. Hey guys, you need to make a detour. Something big is going down. It's on 1010 Winds now. Tune it in. And another ghostly sighting has staff at the New York Public Library scrambling for answers. The Gray Lady. Let's get her for real this time. Go! Whoa, what about the museum? It's been there for 104 years. Where's it gonna go today? Um, this thing you guys have for the Gray Lady borders on the wheel. You know that, right? She made us look like schmucks. Not this time. Oh, and another thing. Pat called and says that I'm required to tell him where you are and what you are up to. Tell him he can meet us at the museum. We'll be there. Eventually. Kid, check that out! Ah! Shh! Ooh, she keeps shushing us! That's her, the Grey Lady! She's the first ghost we ever hunted! Man, I wish Venkman was here. I'm pretty sure Venkman doesn't. She's real skittish. Let's get a solid scan. I missed that, Ray! Please repeat. Shh! Enough with the shushing! Uh, Winston, where the heck are you? In the periodical section. Checking the box scores from the Knicks game last night. Why? Tell us more about this collector, Winston. Says here that this collector used the Grey Lady to get to the rare books in her care. Specifically a book called, get this, the Gozerian Codex. Great! Yeah, and when she found out what he was up to, she dumped him. Smart lady. Not really. Evidently, he murdered her for it. Uh-oh. The Grey Lady was his first victim, but he killed a bunch more. And let me guess, he collected their bodies just like he collected books? Bingo! Ray, you get to buy me dinner. And here's the last on the collector. Seconds before he was hanged, he said he would return as Azadlor, some sort of god to keep watch over the library and every rare book in its collection. Sounds like quite the bookworm. Sounds like the kind we run into all the time. This is where the Collector killed the Librarian. I think that would be a safe assumption. That book she's reading is emitting massive energy. That's your cue, killer. Go get him. That's how it's done. Weird. That wasn't as tough as it should have been. I was just thinking the same thing. It was almost too easy. Like she wants us to have the Codex. Yes, like she wanted us to blast this room apart. But why? Cross-dimensional portal. From the 5th to the 4th. A whole world of ghosts. Something I've dreamt about since college. It's all in the Monarchia Demonium. Fantastic. Ghost world. Wouldn't get too excited, Ray. I have a feeling she did it so we could meet an old friend of hers. Well, if we're going... Not much choice, is there? It's the only way out. You, take the lead. Don't worry, we do this all the time. Oh no! 
Bruno! Look out! Hmm. So this is what the public library looks like on the far side of a cross-dimensional portal. It's one of infinite potential configurations. You know, theoretically. I do like what they've done with the place here. But I hope that portal would have taken us back to the library. Actually, we are back in the public library. The dimensional membrane must be extremely thin here. Someone's holding us here. The Collector. Yes, Azitlor wants to add to his collection, and he's probably not too happy about us taking the Gozerian Codex with us. Oh yeah? What can a twisted little bookworm do to scare us? He murdered Eleanor Twitty for it when he was alive, and a dozen others just to cover it up. Hey, Collector! We're taking your book! What do you think about that? Ah, uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Yes, I think you got his attention, Ray. Oh, boy. We need to get out of here. There's a new portal back here. Come on, Rook, that's gotta be the way out. Guys! Where are you guys? Where the hell were you guys? I've been running all over this library, calling you, looking for you, nothing! We passed through a cross-dimensional portal into an alternate version of the New York Public Library and fought a 40-foot monster made out of priceless antiques to steal an ancient magical book. Oh, well, that would explain it then. Next time, leave a note. Ray, does this mean anything to you? Nope, it wasn't here the first time we came through. What is it? Not entirely sure, but whatever it is, I think we just turned it off. You thinking what I'm thinking? Then cross New York style with no visible anchovy. Hmm? Maybe later. Right now I need to go back to the lab and take a look at this codex. And analyze the data we've collected. It could help us when we go to the museum. Slice to go on the way? Rookie Street? And we need to know what this is. I'll call for delivery. Again. Well, it's a great read, but nothing about that. I know that symbol. How? It shows up sometimes in Sumerian ritual magic. There's a statue on loan at the museum that features it. What does it represent? Just a symbol signifies a path to obtain great power. Most of my colleagues assume it's an old constellation. No constellation I ever saw. And I used to tell fortunes on Coney Island. Is that right? Did you wear a turban? No, man. A red velvet cape with moons. It was plush. Get this. The Codex does indicate there is some kind of feeder system required to channel energy to a destructor form. A destructor form? Like Stay Puft? It's entirely possible that system and this pattern are connected. It's possible. Wait, you said the Gozerian statuary at the museum is on loan. From whom? Evo Shandor, the architect. Well, the Shandor Foundation. They control Shandor's remaining estate and holdings. Evo is a big collector of Gozerian artifacts. By Evo Shandor, the architect, you mean Evo Shandor, the genocidal maniac, right? That's what I was researching when Gozer attacked me. Shandor's architecture firm was involved in a number of projects around town in the late 18, early 1900s. Including Dana Barrett's old building on Central Park West. You mean the one with the extra-dimensional antenna that drew Gozer to our world so he could attempt to destroy it? He had a nice view of the park, though. Yes, but he also did some renovations on existing buildings and a number of public works. There was controversy, because a lot of people thought the work was unnecessary. Let me guess. He did some renovations on the public library building on 5th. Right. And the Museum of Natural History. Recent visitations, specific localized paranormal activity, singing Vikings. They're all connected to Shandor and this pattern. We should warn the mayor. I don't know. He's likely to just sick peck on us even more. You should get a closer look at the museum. Well, the mayor is going to be at the museum for the exhibitioning opening gala tonight. It's where I need to be, too. Elissa, you sure make work fun for me. 
Is business casual okay? I don't have a tux. Are you kidding? He doesn't want you guys within three city blocks of the museum tonight. He thinks you make his campaign contributors nervous. Besides, that pet guy will be at the party too. Okay, Egon will stay here and finish analyzing the data from the library. The rest of us will go in by the service entrance of the museum and lay low. Peter can attend the party as Alyssa's guest and stay in plain sight of Peck. And that frees us up to check out the rest of the building. I love this plan. It's just dull enough to work. Ill, I'm going to bring you a corsage. There it is again! Don't let it get me! Don't you worry. She'll have to go through me first. Not to call a war. Can you help me? Hold him down, young blood. There's so much to show you. Uh, where to start? Things have been very strange since they started setting up that exhibit. Well, hello there. Dig it, Peter. We got possessed again. Ah, Z. You'll have to go through me first. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. Just like a puppy. Every day's the first day. No, no, no! I want the Ghostbusters ejected from this facility immediately! Where's his honor, Pecker? We've got news for him and a photo op. The mayor is indisposed right now. Anything you need to tell him goes through me. Not happening, Peckaby. This is for Jock and Jock alone. We will wait for him to get redisposal. Security! Remove these men with excessive force. Uh boys? Why do the good ones always play hard to get? going on here? They got picked. Well, well, I, ne I never got him. We made it to the security office. I can see you guys on the cameras. No sign of Alyssa or her kidnappers, though. In the early 1900s, the museum was run by a board of trustees. Powerful guys, tycoons, captains of industry. The chairman of the board was Cornelius Wellesley of International Steel. The board used the museum as a respectable front for all kinds of dubious activities. Mainly, though, they were part of a club run by our favorite evil architect. They hired women from the St. Nicholas Rehabilitation Mission for Wayward Angels. Rumor has it the board conducted all kinds of nasty rituals using these women. What a nightmare. Thank you. Not the words of rescuing hero wants to hear from his damsel in distress. May I say, your eyes are much prettier when they're not glowing like hot coals. Peter, I've made an extraordinarily frightening discovery. Why don't you all go away? All my data indicate that the ghost world is beginning to push through multiple cross portals from their dimension into ours. Well, more overtime. Guys, look! <laughs> Calls my name. Block the exits! Don't let it escape with her! Hit it with slime! <laughs> Winston, get the lady out of here before he hits on her again. <laughs> Into the big yellow eye! <laughs> like to have that superpower. Care to tell me why my library, museum, and parade are all going down the toilet? I keep telling you, sir, the Ghostbusters are nothing but scam artists determined to throw a negative light on you and the city and extort you for more money. 
Hello, Peck. I own that suit in blue. Both of you! Pipe down! Mr. Mayor, an enormous event is on the horizon. Something at the museum exhibit triggered a systemized psychic occurrence. Some mechanism we don't know the nature of yet. No, of course you don't. But it's feeding enormous energy somewhere. Something that's now in the process of breaking down the walls between our world and another one. This other world is crossing through into ours. It started with simple ghosts and animated monsters. Now it's getting bigger. We don't know exactly what's next, but there's only room for one city here in this dimension. Two physical worlds can't exist in the same space. That's just elementary particle physics. We got a glimpse of the other world, Jock. It ain't pretty. It's like Brooklyn and the Bronx with no queens in the middle. Whole city blocks sinking into a fifth dimensional abyss. Cockroaches the size of polo ponies. Panic in the streets. How'd you like disco to come back? bigger than ever. I get it. We're in trouble. So what am I supposed to do? We need to prepare the city for the world. The city's my responsibility, not yours. Now go do your job and stop that thing. You got a bite on your PKE. Scan around for something paranormal with your goggles. Way, gentlemen. Well, this looks inviting. I'll be at the office watching over Alyssa. Don't do anything fun without me. You left a trail. This way. Probably goes without saying, but this is very strange. Well, that is your conversation story. What's strange? This tunnel network, what could it possibly have been built for? I was thinking the same thing. Well, it could just be an old steam tunnel. No way, Peter. The design and valves don't fit for moving steam, water, gas, electric, oil, trains, not even slime. What about Morlocks? Morlocks would hate this kind of ornamentation. I don't recognize the alloy fabrication. So it's not steam, it's not more locks, but there's plenty of ghosts. You're right about that. There's more consistent accelerated PKE blowing through here than I've ever seen. But this is not the origin point. This is just a conduit. Look at the trail! The chairman went that way! He's running down this tunnel! Does it feel weird in here to you guys? Like, familiar weird? I should have shuttered you fraudulent gangsters forever when I had the chance. You know what? I'm going to put an end to this madness now. Right now. I'm shutting down your containment grid for good. You can kiss off a permanent license, not to mention any chance for more government contracts. You did this to me. And you're going to pay. You're welcome, you peck. All right, that's it. That's it. You're done, smart guys. You are done, smart, cool guys. I have the authority, and I'm shutting you and your phony containment grid down now. The whole city will have to pay because of your shenanigans. The whole city! What? But that shuts you down, too. Well, so be it. I have bigger fish to fry. And get him off me! I think we need to keep an eye on him. You think? No. I mean, we really need to keep an eye on him. What does this symbol mean? Uh, guys. Perfect fit. It's not a constellation. 
It's a mandala. I can't believe I never saw it before. Okay, for one minute, pretend someone here doesn't know what a mandala is. A mandala is like a spiritual labyrinth. And this one looks like a spiraling system that feeds into each successive node along the line until it reaches a culmination point. Before he died, Shandor must have set some mechanism in place similar to the antenna in Dana's building. You know, I think you helped to make that clear. So this was the gizmo that's supposed to feed energy to the destructor form? That's... that's right, Peter! Well, Dr. Venkman. Well, I had to get one right eventually, didn't I? I mean, just math. All right, I'm just speculating, but it's possible that ghosts are trapped in the system, funneled from node to node, and they get stronger and stronger until they reach the end, and then they... Look, the first portal, the library, the second, the museum, and the third, the Sedgwick. And that means the fourth portal must be right here. The middle of the Hudson River? Well, according to the Mandala, yes. It may need a little tweaking. I don't know, plenty of bodies in that river. Could become ghosts. But what does this have to do with me? What did I do? You were at the museum and the Sedgwick. Maybe you were some sort of catalyst, accidentally setting things in motion. You're saying this is my fault? You are blameless! What Egon meant to say was that you have some sort of connection to this thing and we're going to go back to the Sedgwick and find out what. Isn't that right, Brainiac? That's right, Peter. Alyssa, do you remember where you were going when you were at the Sedgwick? I was standing outside a room, 1221. Something was compelling me to go in, but I woke up just before the door opened. I ran out of there as fast as I could. And then some jerk tried to pick me up on the elevator. Okay, you need to stay here where it's safe and where you can't set off any more cross-dimensional shockwaves, hot stuff. Yeah, read up on the Mandela and the boys will check out the Sedgwick. The boys? And what about you, Superstar? I'm going to have you drop me off near Peck's office. Something tells me he's not quite what he seems. Good idea. Meet us at the hotel when you're done. Whoa. If this place were any more dead, we need a coroner. Egon used to be a licensed coroner. No kidding. It's just a hobby now. Close until further notice by the Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. Peacock! Entrance into this establishment is strictly forbidden and is punishable by fine and imprisonment. What now? Hmm. This notice is for the general public. It doesn't apply to us. We're bonded contractors for the city! Especially the Ghostbusters. All right, heat them up. We'll melt our way in. Wait, I have a better idea. Good thinking. Hmm, this is disappointing. No, disappointing is the Jets losing in the last two minutes. Not being covered in slime by phantom ghouls out to kill us doesn't exactly make me reach for a hank. Why be shut down? You guys didn't bang the place up that bad last time you were here. If this place is a Mandala note, a few burnt walls and broken ceilings are the last thing that anybody's... And smashed furniture, broken chandeliers, destroyed paintings, shattered vases, probably some minor structural damage. Thanks, Egon. My point being that there's more to worry about here than some minor cosmetic issues. Definitely a Mandala node. If we don't shut down Shandor's Mandala soon, most of Manhattan will become as vacant as this. Not to mention also becoming a bastion of absolute mind-numbing horror for centuries to come. Hey, I definitely don't lay out two grand a month for a 600 square foot walk up to live in a bastion. Let's get to work. Someone you know? I don't know. Most of the old staff knows the story of the Spider Witch. A professional widow who did unimaginable things in a room on the 12th floor back in the 1920s. Egon, what were you saying earlier about the Mandala note? 
You mean, why do we keep seeing new ghosts? Yeah. Okay. Think of the Mandala as a city bus line. At the bus station, ghosts or waiting passengers are drawn into the system here and trapped. This concentrates their PK energy, which is then eventually forced through to the next node, or station, and so on until it all ends at a final terminus. At each successive bus station, the station manager absorbs some of the energy. This makes the station manager, or node guardian, stronger so that it can keep the ghosts in line and destroy anyone who comes to the station to interfere with the flow. These nodes, or bus stations, gather the power used to feed a central point, thus creating a much bigger threat to our world. Does that make more sense now? TTTC, Totally Trapped Transit Company. Yeah, you were going strong right up until the passengers got trapped inside the bus station. When is my performance review again? I deserve more stock options. I say, young lady, you are full of surprises. After you, my dear. Well, that was terrifying. Be extremely careful. This is likely to be a point of dangerous concentration. Odd. It's coming from everywhere and nowhere. Impossible to get a significant fix. Ray, come in. Are you there? He gone. What happened? We lost you for a minute there. We had a close contact. I've got some more information on the Spider Witch ghost. The manager says authorities never found her, but the bodies were hung from the ceiling. They were drained of blood and dragged around. He says the victims were found in a pretty bad state. The walls were painted in blood. Furniture was half chewed and crushed and piled in a corner like a giant nest. She seems to have vandalized the room badly, too. Hmm. I don't want to be hung from a ceiling and drained of blood. I'll tell you this much, I do not want to be found in a bad state or vandalized. I think that sentiment is unanimous. <laughs> Multiple contacts! The Mandala map. Ray, Winston, come in. You there? Egon, what happened? You all right? Their crew found the 13th floor and we shut it down. PKE levels are back to acceptable parameters. This node of the Mandala is fully neutronized. All right. Where are you? We went back down to the 12th floor and couldn't find anything. Everything seems pretty normal. Looks like we're back in the Ruby Ballroom. We'll meet you at Ecto-1. Egon, remind me, why are we driving aimlessly in the fog? The final note, Vekman. Close it, and we seal the mandala, trapping the ghosts inside. Sorry to break this to you, Egon, but I just don't see a mandala... You were saying? Shandor Island. It's here. Drop you guys in circle. If Echo 8 sinks, we're sunk too. Ray, since you're the most excited about going to Ghost Island, why don't I just take the boat? I, I, I thought I was making a nice gesture. You're giving me the suspicious look. <laughs> Drop it instantly. Let's get going, because nobody enjoys rushing headlong towards their death more than this fellow. Check this joint out. That's a $3 million view, even by Manhattan standards. My apartment used to look like this. Shandor's public architectural style ranged from federal to art deco. His personal tastes, however, obviously leaned toward the Gozerian. Oh, now I see what they mean by early demonic. Alyssa, I see her. You and me both. She's wearing just a simple terry cloth robe. And she's brought me coffee. That's her, all right. Spitting image. The resemblance is uncanny. This is Evo Shandor's mother, painted in 1885. Wait. 
What? Alyssa is a Shandor? Why does this always happen to me? I meet a girl, she's crazy about me, but she always turns out to be some kind of unbelievable fixer-upper. This is all making sense. Alyssa must have inadvertently triggered the mandala because she has Shandor blood. And she doesn't know it. When I did her profile, she told me she was adopted. Some coincidence, huh? You don't really believe this happened by accident. No. Someone must have known and set this up. The mayor did say that Peck personally recommended Alyssa to be the guest curator of the Gozer exhibit. Once a Peck, always a Peck. Shandor must have employed hundreds of workers for years to build this place. The supports are waterlogged, the mortar is decrepit, and the foundation is shattered. In purely physical terms, there's no way all this can still be standing. You sound like you're surprised. No, not really. It's beautiful in a horrific way. You can't deny the pure genius of Shandor. It's a pity that it was all used for evil. If you would have just channeled some of it for good, the things he could have done. Check this joint out. Unless my sensory array is malfunctioning, that is definitely the place we're looking for. Hey, where'd the caddy go? Yo, cool breeze. Come on out. Peter, behind you. No! Get back! Take your imaginary hands off me, man! No, there's too many. Egon! They got Egon! Bring him back here! Kid, help us! Hey! Ooh, thanks, man. I was seriously cramping up in there. This is all looking a little familiar. Ray would be giggling right now. This must be where all the mood slime came from. Look, they must have pumped it straight into the sewers from here. Let's go find Egon. Then we'll think about finding people. Get me out of this thing. I don't want to be eaten by black slime. Egon, hang on. We're almost to you. Thank you. This is going to reflect well on your performance review. In most cases, I find close proximity to mildew stimulating. That was a little much, though. Have you seen Venk? Well, you know... Have you looked for him? Well, you know... The meter seems to indicate that he's somewhere in this direction. Did somebody call a break? Yep, that's Vinkman, all right. Now, we're sure about this, right? We need to be at full strength to shut down this node. Way to go! I feel a momentum swing here in our favor. Get out there and find the Mandela node and shut it down. That should really piss someone off. Hey, I got places to go people to meet. Can we move out of here? Great job, kid. Glad to hear Peter's okay. What are they doing? The readings are as big as those at the library when we crossed over. I think it's safe to assume that the machine they're working on was not built for a benign purpose. It's an orrery, a device typically used for predicting planetary alignment. In this case, it appears to actually be aligning dimensions. I, for one, do not want the dimensions to align. Not this close to Christmas. That would put a damper on the holidays. How do we shut that thing down? The motion of those devices seems to be generating some sort of energy. Hard to tell, though. What if we tried locking those things down? I can calculate 54 likely outcomes. We'd survive three of them. That beats our usual odds. Unfortunately, you're correct. Let's do it. Yes! You did. How come people smart enough to use science always try to take over the universe? Huh? Egon! Ray! Anyone? Didn't think so. Wait. Those planets are aligning. I'm not so sure this is the safest course of action. Here comes the big Ugh! The stench is horrible! It smells like the Fulton fish market when they've got fish. Wait, I know that dumpster. A putrid mass of hatred, bile, and anger. Not exactly Mr. Sunshine, is it? This is the part where we do what we do. Yo! Get him in the eyes! Get his eyes, rookie! You were doing it? He's got to cut off his visor. Somebody chop some onions. Giving me the evil eye, huh? Somewhere! 
Statistically speaking, that's not entirely accurate. Statistically speaking, we better hope it is. Okay, fair enough. What about that inaccessible entry or not? That's totally it's not head? That is its head, isn't it? I'm not sure that matters. How can we get to it? Hey, Ruffle, run around and look delicious, will ya? There it is. Concentrate your fire on that nose. Hit it right there! He doesn't like that at all! He's taking the bait! Why are you shooting everything but the glowing thing on its head? Find some cover! Ow! <laughs> All the nodes are closed. The ghosts are trapped in Manal. Right where they belong. Our boy Evo Shandor didn't factor in that he was messing with the Ghostbusters. Ha ha ha! Yeah, Peck made the same mistake. We're gonna have to have a long talk with him. Don't forget that Peter's girlfriend is a Shandor. I'm gonna have a very long talk with her. You guys need to get down to the shore and fast! I don't know how much longer I can hold her. The whole island's sinking! Ray, keep the motor running! We are coming at you fast! Peter, get out of there! How was it? Was it cool? What did it look like? Did you get any samples? Did it have multiple eyes? Shut up. Oh, thank God you're here. What's going on, Janine? Where's Alyssa? She's gone. They took her. One minute everything was fine, the next it was chaos. Ghosts flying everywhere. Janine, slow down. Start from the beginning. Okay. Well, I was a little late this morning because one of the heels on my favorite pair of pumps broke and Lester's was out of my favorite tea. You know how I love my chamomile. Well, and... Okay. Maybe not the beginning. Start where things went haywire around here. Okay. Okay. Somebody jumped me from behind. And before I passed out, I heard Alyssa struggling and yelling, Now! And the last thing I remember was the screams of the dead and damned echoing in my brain. So either there was a mass escape from Rikers, or someone shut down our containment grid again. Again? Just like Peck threatened to do. It's funny. I always knew that Peck was a pencil-necked bureaucratic prick. But I never pegged him as an evil occultist. But where did he take her? And where are all the ghosts? Cause, no offense, but if all the ghosts we've ever caught just escaped, I'm clocking out. Yeah, they would be awfully mad at us. Exactly. It's generally a bad idea for the guards to hang out in the cell blocks just after a prison break. This just in. As authorities continue to supervise the Thanksgiving evacuation of Manhattan, increasingly powerful tremors are rocking Central Park. The question is, where are the Ghostbusters? Uh, tell you what, kind of a nice day. Why don't we go to Central Park? Could round up some ghosts. So the girl. Get back in time. For a nap. Okay, the Ghostbusters ride again. Just once, I wouldn't mind running with these other fools away from the trouble. Where's the fun in that? Guesses on where we'll find Peck and Alyssa? I suspect that we're going to need the Super Slammer up there. No telling how powerful Peck has grown. That means we gotta take the Ecto-1. I'll drive. Maybe the trainee should drive. Thanks, Winston. Any ideas? Ah! Junior's pretty spry, even with that hundred pounds of proton accelerator. Ow! That was... that was ow there! 
Make your way around to the other side and open this gate for us. I'll go with the intern. Nobody should wander around alone in this place. We'll meet you guys a little further on. This has been bugging me. When the necromantic shockwave summoned Gozer back to our plane, why didn't he assume a more effective destructor form immediately? I mean, the Marshmallow Man is scary, sure, but there has to be a better way to destroy the world. It's simple. When he enters our plane of existence, he must be locked into that form from our first encounter. One destructor form per god per dimension. I like it. Sounds like the kind of symmetry these things tend to operate on. Hey. So maybe I didn't choose such a bad destructor after all, huh? Hook me up again. I'll take care of it. Right, the tethers. Boom! Hands up. Ah! At least the tethers held. My fault. Miscalculated. Winston! Oh, man. Damn. fellas turned out to be pretty helpful. This team can play, no doubt about it. Exciting, and somehow risky. Wait, it's Ilsa. It's Peck. Can we blast him? Just one's really hard. Nobody's gonna know. Easy, Venkman. Everything points to Peck being a pawn. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. It's the mayor. No, Ray, it's not. It's Evo Shandor. Shandor possessed the mayor, turned Peck on us to slow us down, and when we shut down his Mandela before he could get fully juiced, he hijacked our ghost out of the containment unit as an alternate energy source. Very good! And they say you're the slow one. Wait, what? Who says that? Everybody. What's the girl have to do with it? Taking her was necessary. To assume my own destructor form, I require blood. My blood. What about Gozer? I thought you built this all for him. I did, but he failed me. Twice! How he earned the title the Destroyer is beyond me. Anyway, I thought to myself, why worship a god when you can actually become one? Slime him. Nice work! 
Feed him down! Let's get a capture stream on him! He's through! Now deactivate your pulse, and we'll cross the streams with the blast function! I can't shut mine down, Ray! Me too! Me neither, I mean... Who decided to reinforce these shoulder straps? Yeah! Hey, Shandor! Where's your destructor form now? Leave it in your other suit? Waking out of their nap? Oh no. That's very bad. The architect? <laughs> that's not so scary. The contractor, that's a good issue. Peter, you don't understand. He's the architect, and he controls Ghost World. And he can come into our world. And what do architects do? I don't know. They have automatic pencils. I don't know. I will pay over your fields to start a new. Break. Do you ever shut up? Yeah. No! Listen! I will pierce your world with girders of steel and panes of glass. That's just mean super villain threats, Ray. All those guys talk like that. I will crush your world under the weight of my cities. Flying skulls! Flying skulls! Look out! I will slaughter your Don't creation the under my own. God 
eggs for breakfast. I'm deactivating the cross stream governor. I never thought I'd say this again. Cross the stream! <laughs> We eat gods for breakfast? Too much, you think? No, I liked it. I've got you. Get me down from here. Please, Nuba. I'm begging you, let You're me down! Huh? <laughs> this is not the last you will see of me. Ghostbusters! Hey, fellas! What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Uh, where is here? You were the victim of a trans-dimensional possession, Your Honor. Uh, what's that mean? An evil ghost was walking around in your body for a few months. Whoa! Did anyone notice? Well, how's my approval rating? Well, you got re-elected. By the way, you're a descendant of Shandor. Yeah, I kinda got that. What? Bankman! There's something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to my other videos at the end. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.